Well, look at Osana. He's up in the tree and he's busy now watching this baby hippo. The hippo moved and it just slightly shifted. Hosanna went up into the tree and he's watching now very carefully to see if this baby hippo just moves too far away, maybe he can get a chance to go after it. But he's playing a very, very, very risky game at the moment. If he tries to go anywhere near that baby hippo, this mother is going to go crazy and is not going to be impressed with him at all. So he needs to be a little careful about what he's doing. And I can see she's kind of eyeing him out, the mother. She's just watching him and he's kind of looking and seeing what is he up to and why is he in the tree. So she's right below where he is, not too far away, but far enough that it can't cause any damage. There she is and the little baby Boo is flopping around in the little area over there. You can see the ripples and the movement. And so Hosanna's kind of trying to figure out a way. How do I get close to this without mom getting hold of me? And as long as he's around mom is never going to let that little one out of her sight it's absolutely incredible to watch this though i didn't think we would see a leopard doing this and a leopard in this particular section it really is phenomenal to see I mean, when have we ever seen a leopard hunting a baby hippo absolutely awesome now i do need to get hold of the rest of the guides and try and tell them where I am because otherwise they're going to shout at me if they see me with a leopard not that anyone can see me it's stations everyone can copy me I've got Hassan and daughter Ingwe um, behind shift with damn wall he's busy hunting this baby hippo if he wants to respond I'm going to be off the radio there's space for two and the radio goes crazy. So it's been a quiet afternoon and now sounds like I can already hear five guys fighting with each other to kind of get into the sighting. They're all talking over one another already. But we have to call it in because like I say, we are live and we are out here with a whole bunch of other guys that help us out a lot of the time. And so if somebody watches this later and they think that we've hidden this away, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. And ultimately we don't want to be like that. We want to be able to allow everybody a chance to witness something as special as this. Now you see, he's going forward again because the little baby has crept away from mom slightly. It's come more towards the shore area and she's going to have to be very, very careful. If that little one comes onto land, he's definitely going to try and go after it. The thing is, mom will come barreling after Hosanna straight away. And like I say, if that happens, we need to be very smart about what we're doing because we're on a little island here and there will be no way for us to get out of the way if a hippo comes. So when hippos are being hunted, to be very 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 careful and make sure that you've got somewhere that you can maneuver and so I just want to see which way this little baby goes if the baby starts to come towards land on our side I'm going to go around the other side of the water because I don't want to be involved in anything to do with a angry mother hippo when her baby's being harassed by a leopard that's for sure the thing is though is the baby's instinct is to stay in water mom's instinct will be to just keep that baby right next to her herd the baby into the middle of this little pan make sure that this leopard can't get anywhere near it that's not to say that Hassan is not going to try Hassan is most certainly going to try his luck and try and get into that area and try and have a little look and see if he can get to the baby but I don't think he's got any chance to be honest and and he is biting off a lot more than he can chew and he, he might learn a very valuable lesson in the next little bit if he stays where he is right now because that's going to not be very pleasant if he stays there he's going to get himself into a lot of trouble if that hippo sees him and decides that she's had enough of him being in the area but I wonder if maybe we just reposition here Senzo just so that maybe we can see the baby hippo and the mother as well as the leopard let's just try as much as it's a nice view of Hosanna let's just try and get Senzo into a position where he can at least see both I don't know if it's going to be possible but I'm going to try just see that there is maybe a gap this direction. Senzo, you just tell me when I you have a sort of sighting of both Hosanna and the mother with the little one. I don't want to get too close. Is that okay? So Hosanna you can see is on the right, mom and baby on the left. Now whether or not he's going to stay there and kind of move along and go to the other bank I'm not quite sure but it's quite close you can see she's got not really much space to work with but she's watching that leopard she knows for sure there's a leopard here she knows there's a predator around she's very very aware of that and she will make sure that that little leopard doesn't go anywhere near her tiny baby well come on boo come say hello hello little cute thing how cute is that little one that's just so so sweet you can see it's quite brave it's coming to say hello are you coming to check what's going on look how small it is in comparison to the head of that adult hippo, it is absolutely 
tiny. Look at the neck sizes between the two. I reckon if you put that hippo sort of three in a row, it would be the same thickness as its mom's neck. Oh, a little bouncing around ears all over the show. And it's no wonder that Hosanna is having a look. Velma, you're wondering if Mother Hippo will go out and feed already or would she be waiting a few days until Boo is a little bit older and stronger? No, she'll get out and feed, but not far. She'll just feed right here in this little area. There's lots of little grasses close by and, and on this little wetland that she can chomp away at. And so that's what she'll feed off and she'll make sure that Boo is very close to her. And as soon as there's a problem, she can just dash into the water. It's not even, you know, a meter or two from the water's edge. And so she'll do that no problem. Um, she won't mind having a little feed close by. Now, Hosanna, you can see, he's now creeping around towards the other side. So he's now coming down the tree. He's going to cross the branch over the little oasis. Hosanna, be careful. That branch is not very sta stable. But the little baby hippos are really good. Not. Proud cat mama, you want to know if leopards are good swimmers? Well, leopards don't really like water, but they will be able to swim and they will be able to do be able to cross a little water like this. They certainly don't like it though. They know that there's crocodiles, there's various other predators that might be around. There's also, you know, risk of hippos and other things. And so you have a situation where these guys will try and avoid swimming at all costs. That's not to say though that it doesn't happen. Leopards do swim from time to time. I've seen them crossing a few rivers, but they'll try and avoid it as much as possible. They prefer rather to try and cross water where they can stand and not where they actually have to swim itself. But now Hosane, where are you going? You're getting yourself into a major mess at the moment. I'm going to just go forward a little bit because he seems as though he's going to drop down. I wonder if there's maybe chicks in here as well because he seems as though he's watching for chicks as well in the grass. Now, I don't know. Maybe he's going to give us a really big leap. Right, Senzo, be, be ready because I think he's going to leap over this water. It's going to be so cool if he does leap. Come on, over you go. Let's see if he does. Seems like he might just know. Oh, he fell. Don't fall. Hosanna, you're going to get yourself very wet and cause mom hippo to get very angry. Oh, there he goes in the water. <laughs> That's a cat with very wet paws and a very angry hippo behind him. I think there must be eggs here because he's looking. I think this is where the night herons have been nesting. and that Because that's where the night heron came out yesterday afternoon. And so I think that's where you can see the hippo is now getting upset. She's charging in. There's bow waves coming. It's all happening at the moment. So it really is quite amazing. He's busy trying to get there. But he's making a bit of a meal of it. Sorry, Osana. I don't mean to laugh at you, boy. But you really aren't doing it the right way. You're getting your paws all wet, which a leopard absolutely hates. I wouldn't be surprised there's a bit of shaking of the paws at some point as he tries to kind of get off here and get back to ground where he can groom off that water and get himself a little bit on the drier side. So... There's a big stretch and a yawn. Have you decided this is not for you, Hosanna? Hmm? He is such a character. Him and Tumba, the two of them together, are both characters. They both have their own way about them. And I really do enjoy watching the two of them go about their business. They are highly entertaining, the two of them. And they really do get themselves into all kinds of odd places. Right, let's go back again just so that we can give these guys a chance to get in here because they're going to come behind us and they can then park on that side and we'll be able to at least have a view of both Hosanna and... Oh, sorry, Hosanna. Sorry, my boy. Of Hosanna and the hippo. But I think Hosanna's decided no more hippo for him. Or is he going to? No, he's going to lie down over there. So I think he's in a state where he's kind of got a hippo on one side, a vehicle on the other, and he's a little bit kind of... Mm, I don't know where I actually want to lie at this stage and move around, so... It's pretty incredible to watch him as he hunts this little baby hippo and kind of tries to work it out. You can see, like I said, he'll lie down once he falls in the water like he did. He's going to lie down now and try and groom himself, get himself nice and clean, get all that water that he's got on his coat after falling in the water and then try and just kind of get himself into a bit better place and a bit better condition. Right, well, we've got one spotty cat down here in South Africa who is a little bit 
wet and is just going to get himself into better condition and clean himself up a little bit. But Scotty D, all the way in the Maasai Mara, is still with his spotty cats, albeit a lot sleeker and a lot more slim than Hosanna. And I believe that those little spotted cats are starting to get going and starting to move around and potentially they're going to carry on the hunting for the evening.